now we are at Ryzen Schools. Ryzen ranks among the top 10 module manufacturers globally and focuses on the development of low cost and high efficiency products. It was one of the first companies to use 210 mm large size wafers to launch the 500 watt high efficiency module. With an eye-catching performance over the recent years, Ryzen has not only become one of the leading companies in the 210mm module group, but also has placed itself at the forefront of the industry in terms of the heat junction technology. At SAEC 2021, we have on show the latest products. Let's go and have a look. We are delighted to be joined now by Yvonne Song, Ryzen Energy's Product Management Director. We are delighted to be joined now by Yvon Song, Ryzen Energy's Product Management Director. So what are the main products you are showcasing at SNEC this year? What can you tell us about each of them? Okay, uh, okay thank you very much. So firstly, in this snack, our main product is all by the one technical flat. So we call it the Tutin, Tutin Cell Modules. And firstly, this I think this two, this one could be the uh, maximum power sold in this snack. It's uh, with the N type. We call the Newton series. And uh, this is not Topcon, not HAT, but the kind of combination uh, of the Topcon and HAT. So we just use the uh, silicon dioxide film and also the alpha silicon film together for the preservative on the real side of the module, uh, of the cell. So the output of the module is 700 watts. So you can see the 700A. So the, I think this is our main product and which can be produced at the end of this year. And another main product here is our, uh, the same product, also with the Tutin uh, uh, wafers. But uh, this is the uh, uh, P-type perk. P type perk model modules and the maximum power is 660 uh, watts. But uh, the main issue is that two modules are with the same module size, the same length, the same width, and also the same mounting position. So the customer can select all the modules by their requirements. So please follow us. We have the other products. And uh, from here, you can see all of our products, and many are with the true to uh, wafer size. And uh, this is our well, well, another product. We call it is uh, uh, 110 proto, uh, type. And the module power, the maximum is 555 watts. So this is our many product in this year and already shipped out for more than one gigawatt already. And here is one of our, our another product, and this one is the, our full black module with the uh, HDT technology. And this is also a new technology we use for the for the wafers. Firstly, it is uh, anti-fire performance and is very very high level, the A level class. And another one is that uh, a very strength of the mechanical loading. So if you install the module on the rooftop, you can work on it, there's no any problem for that. And another issue is that uh, we just have a special design for the frame of the edge. So we can, re uh, the, the dirt or the, some dust can flow out uh, very freedomly. Uh, uh, so it can also can decrease the cost of the future, future maintenance. So this is HAT product. And here, uh, I can show you another product. This is a small product, but also with the Trutin wafer size. And uh, this product can be used for the uh, residential rooftop. And uh, so far, this product is very hot in the Australia and the Europe market for the rooftop. So all these products, I think, many with the Trutin wafer size. And uh, we have already de developed a serious product which can uh, very suitable and fulfill the requirements of all scenario from residential, from the commercial and the industry rooftop and also for the big power plant. Thank you very much. Last year's NEC was seen as a platform for high power modules. What do you see as the focus of this year's show in terms of the module technology? Okay, thank you. Uh, from my point of view, I think, you know, from last year we have already seen there are a lot of big size modules. Uh, occurred in the in the market and a lot of I think the tier one supplier and the manufacturer they have already produced 
the wafers with the two chain cells, the 182 cells. So, but I think from my point of view, this year and this could be the many products in the market. We can already see from other uh, consultants, maybe from PV Tech and from PV Inquiry. We can also see the uh, occupation and the ratio of the module with the high power and the big size has already increased and increased. I think already more than about 50%. Uh, but uh, I think for this year we can see a lot of tier one manufacturers they have already show the N type modules. Like like Ryzen, we uh, we have the Newton series and uh, this also the N type. But they not not top car as what I mentioned a moment ago. Not top car, not AJT, but the combination of them. So in the future, I think. Uh, the change will come to be the from the P type to N type. I think it is a technology change uh, for uh, in the future. Okay, thank you. The PV industry is currently going through a period of intense competition, with technological developments moving rapidly. Which high efficiency technologies do you favor at recent, and for what reason? Do you have any reservations about any of the main technologies being promoted? Thank you very much. About Ryzen Energy, we uh, focus on uh, HJT uh, technology in the future. Uh, but the, right now, we have a the new technology is called Newton Technology. This is our Newton Technology module. Uh, the power can reach to 700 watts. And right now, we think Newton Technology is uh, a trend for uh, recently years. HJT is the future. On the subject of the current prices going up in the industry, would you like to give us your views? Uh, I think uh, recently the whole world is facing an uh, inflation uh, problem. So I think uh, this is not only the policy con uh, or the uh, for the solar industry, but uh, this is not good for the industry. For eventually, uh, you can you, you uh, we will have a lot of problems uh, to make our project to connect to the grid. So I ho we all hope these prices can get down uh, very soon and uh, to have a healthy industry trend. Thank you very much.